Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Feathers. Today I'm going to go over your grammar practice pages with you. They are pages 126 to 129. After you complete this practice, you can go on to our Google Classroom and take your grammar quiz. Page 126 is focusing on adverbs. In the box at the top, it reminds me that an adverb is a word that tells more about a verb. Adverbs can tell us how, when, or where an action takes place. Adverbs can come before or after the verbs they describe. Many adverbs, but not all adverbs, end in ly, and those ones usually tell us how. The directions on this page say to read each sentence and underline the adverb. Write it on the line provided. I like to identify what my verb is in each sentence and then find the adverb. And I know I have to look before and after the verb to figure out what my adverb is. Number one says, she slept late on Tuesday morning. In this sentence, slept is my verb, so I need to look before and after the word and late is my adverb. I underline it and write it on the line. Number two says we leaned carefully over the fence. Leaned is my verb, my action, so I look before and after and carefully tells me how we leaned over the fence. It is my adverb in this sentence. You will complete this page with the same directions for 3 through 10. Your next page is 127. It's doing the same thing as the first page, except you're taking it a step further and identifying if the adverbs are telling us how, when, or where. At the top, again, it reminds us what an adverb is, that some adverbs tell us when, some tell us how, some tell us where, and relative adverbs, where, when, or how, begin adjective clauses that modify nouns. On this page, just like the previous one, you're identifying the adverb, but then on these lines, you're going to write if that adverb tells us where, when, or how the action takes place. Number one says, the little bird flew away. Flew is my verb, so I'm going to again look before and after to identify my adverb. Away is my adverb. Away tells me where the action takes place. Number two says the student clearly wrote her name. Wrote is my verb. I'm looking before and after my verb, and I see that clearly is my adverb, and it tells me how the student wrote her name. You will continue with these same directions for 3 through 10. Page 128 is looking at the difference between good and well. Good is an adjective. It is only used to modify a noun. Well is an adverb. It modifies a verb and tell, tells us how. Do not confuse good with well. You need to decide on each of these lines whether good or well completes the sentence. You completed that task very good, or you completed that task very well. Well is my answer here because I'm describing how an action is completed. Do you know him? Again, I am going to choose well. I'm describing an action of knowing somebody. Let's do one more. This is a blank example of what I mean. 
in this sentence, I want to use the word good because it's describing the noun example. Complete this page with the same directions for number four through 10. Your last page is a proofreading page and you are going to be rewriting each sentence, correcting mistakes in adverbs and adjectives. Number one says, we mistaken thought that there would be enough chairs for everyone. There is one mistake in this sentence and it's an adverb mistake. Mistaken should be mistakenly. We mistakenly thought that there would be enough chairs for everyone. Mistakenly is an adverb that describes the verb thought. Let's also do number two. Did you search good enough for the missing shoe? This has a mistake with an adjective. Good in this sentence should be well. You will complete this page with the same directions for three through six. Again, after you're done, you can take your grammar quiz. If you have any other questions about these pages, please feel free to reach out to myself, Mr. Casper, or Mrs. Oliver, and we will be happy to help you. We miss you all very much. We hope to see you soon. I can't believe it's already May, almost at the end of the school year. Keep up the great work, fourth grade. Bye.